going everyone, Liam Catterson here, and today we're going to be reacting to My Hero Academia, episode number 9. I need my headphones on because I won't know uh, who All Might is talking about and who Deku is geeking over if I don't have my headphones in, but uh, yeah. Episode number 9, uh, it was really, really great going into Bakugo's, um, you know, I guess sadness and how... You know, everything that followed his fight with, with, uh, Izuku had crippled him emotionally because he was not, you know, feeling it. Um, he even, um, Todoraki, I think it was, yeah, he was even, you know, beating himself up about the fact that Todoraki, uh, was even, uh, better than him. So it was just really, really, um, you know, interesting going into his character and seeing how, beaten up he was about the about the whole uh, situation and he does vow to come back stronger but I mean he's not really feeling it and to be fair I mean it's completely natural for someone who has this superiority complex to uh, see himself lost against someone who he should have easily beaten but he didn't so I mean he looked to have the upper hand he, uh, and, and it all goes back to the I can't beat you but I can win comment which uh, Deku did win at the very end, uh, but um, Katsuki had a really, really vast upper hand to him throughout the fight, so um, yeah, uh, but that wasn't the decisive factor, so uh, that's of course put um, Katsuki in a bit of a, I guess, slum. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see how things do develop in the future regarding him since we focused a lot on him in the last episode. Uh, especially with a threat looming in the distance. We had that little villain tease at the very end, which was very, very ominous. But, um, yeah, it's looking, no it's not looking too good for All Might, but I don't know. Has anyone considered that, um, you know, they could be another uh, academy, like, considering that UA is the top, um, you know, academy there, and, you know, All Might is that, like, you want that hands, you want your hands on the prize, you want your hands on All Might, so when they're talking about the, uh, symbol of peace, uh, no longer, like, what if he was gone, they were talking about the fact that, that, uh, the symbol of peace is no longer at UA, they're at the, one of the smaller academies, and then, one of the smaller academies could just rival UA and finally they have some, I don't know, they have some level ground or something like that. But considering the fact that UA is the uh, top academy, uh, is is one of the leading ones and, you know, one of the academies, like the smaller academies could learn a thing or two about All Might. So has anyone considered that? No, it's not going to happen because they seem like lovely people, obviously. Um, this is where things start getting into Ruby territory. Uh, I said I was going to be cautious about going into My Hero Academia because Ruby was delightful as, at first as well. And now I just feed on the tears of sorrow for Ruby, so... Yeah. Anywho, this is episode 9 of My Hero Academia. Happy 4th. Let's go through this swimmingly. I'm looking forward to this. So that said... Let's go. One would expect, but he's also not afraid to show his students a more humorous side. It's truly a unique opportunity to be we under like the that. direct tutelage of the pro we all admire. <laughs> they look all Are bored. you in all my class? Oh, hold on. Aren't uh, you that sludge villain kid? Uh oh. Please, sir, can you get on um, for us? I would, also, oh. you look like a mess. What's your deal? Oh, I'm not on campus today. <laughs> Get out of here. You disturbed my students enough already. Yes, go away. Shut the left. No, shoot. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Oh, damn. the school's defenses? This gate is the UA barrier. Protective. It practically killed me. Yeah, well, it's designed to stop anyone who doesn't have a student ID. Yeah. Everyone. Um... Decent dude, work that on dude, yesterday's that combat dude. training, you guys. Creepy. I saw the video feeds and went over each of your team's results. Bakugo. Uh-oh. You're talented. So don't sulk like a child about your loss, okay? Ooh, shit! Yeah, whatever. You all need to pick a class representative. Oh, oh class rep! 
<laughs> I'm just class rep uh, all the time during college school. Awesome! In a normal classroom, a representative's duties would just be a bunch of extra work. But here in the hero course, there's more to it. It's a way to get oh. noticed by agencies and prove you can lead a team like a real pro. Like scouting. Elections always go down well. Zuko, what? Oh, awesome! Okay, you idiots! Who voted for him? What, did you honestly think oh. anyone was gonna vote for you? <laughs> what did you just say? What you did just you just say? You voted for that little curve. <laughs> proving my point now. Folks, <laughs> job. I feared this might happen, but I can't argue with the system I chose. So you voted oh. for someone else. Huh? Worthy leader, not to mention the strength you've demonstrated. Those are the reasons I voted for you, at least. You were one of the three? Didn't you want yep, to be I had the really feeling. Badly? I mean, you do look the part, because of the glasses. That's not exactly how we should be choosing our rep. <laughs> no, no, not Wanting at all. Wanting a job and being suited to it are quite <laughs> different things. Observing the Eda family's hero agency has taught me that much. Agency? Two of you familiar with the Turbo Hero Ingenium? I know all about him! He's a super popular pro with 65 sidekicks working alongside him at his Tokyo agency. Five? Wow. Don't tell me. He's my elder brother. Your family's famous. Nice. Ingenium, nice. unmatched commander. You figured out what the judges were looking for in the practical exam. A rep needs that sort of insight. <laughs> oh wow, that's really, really nice. Does nobody have a good work that can calm people? The press that was outside. Ah, here we go. He's here somewhere! He said it's a stay off. Just give us one good comment on record and then we'll they know how you people persistent. work. They know how you people They are trespassing. Float above everyone else! Oh, nice! That's a great thinking tenure. There we go, there we go. Awesome. Get everyone's attention. I think you've probably got it. Oh, man. Holy sh oh. What are you doing? Is okay. <gasps> it's just the media outside. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. They're just being a bit We're UA students. greedy. We need to remain calm and prove that we're the best of the best. Wow. <sighs> he absolutely nailed it. That's wow, enough. go, go Tenya! That's it! Vultures, not villains! Like the dude on the emergency exit signs when he was on the wall earlier? This is a waste of time. <laughs> I don't care who the rep is, just hurry up. <laughs> Shota's just like... If I'm Midoriya done. is nominating me for this job, then I humbly accept. I pledge to carry out the duties of class rep to the best of my abilities. Sounds good, emergency exit. Emergency exit, for God's sake! Some villain actually managed to infiltrate our school. That person in the black. a show of power? Or a declaration of war? It was that person in the black, wasn't it? For some reason, I felt like I had to explain it to him. Like it was only fair that he knew. Midoriya isn't the type of person who wants to show off. That's not the reason he shared our secret. So I didn't lecture him too much. Don't look so sad. Just wanted to he didn't correct take him. you seriously, so I don't think he'll say anything. Ken, sir, what kind of training is this? Rescue. You'll be dealing with natural disasters, shipwrecks, stuff like that. Disasters? <laughs> huh? mm, Sounds neat. like we're in for a big workout. <laughs> totally. Real hero stuff. Way this better than separates the men for the boys. <laughs> with excitement. Finally, I'll get the show I'm loving the redhead dude. Water. Guys, I'm not finished yet. What you wear in this exercise is up to you. I know you're excited about costumes. Who is Keep it? Keep in mind that you haven't gotten used to them yet, and they might limit your... The numbers form two neat lines so we can load the bus efficiently. Even there we go. Get into high gear as our class rep, huh? Yeah, he is. He's, he's absolutely doing This is why I think he's is a good choice. Kida, you really need to chill. If we're pointing out the obvious, then there's something I want to say. About you, actually. About me? Oh. Is it also he? I told you to call me Sue. Oh, yeah, right. So that power of yours, isn't it a lot like all mine? <laughs> what? Really? Uh... You think so, huh? I never really thought about that. 
I guess it's kind of Wait, hold on, Sue. Your the Bakugo is always angry, so he'll never be that popular. <laughs> what did you say? I'll kick your ass! Oh! <laughs> you know, we basically just <laughs> met you, so it's kind of telling that we all know your personality is flaming crap mixed with garbage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the day you apply to this school, you loser! I'll kill you! Oh, I'm hearing this! Kachan's the one in class who's getting teased. You are so confusing! Wait, what did you say? This is a disgusting conversation. Yeah, but it's kind of fun listening to them fight. Hey, we're here. Ooh, Rock is just like, in for this. Like, get the pop god out. Oh, wow. Listen carefully. I'm sure you're aware that I have a powerful quirk. It's called Black Hole. I can use it to suck up anything and turn it into dust. Yeah, you Holy used Black Hole to shit. save people from all kinds of disasters before, haven't you? That's true. But my can also very easily be used to kill. Some of you also have powers that can be dangerous. <sighs> you? Well, we're not here. Well, here, society, here, yes. All quirks in your powers to attack enemies or each other, only to help. After all, that's what being a hero is all about. Ensuring the about safety of being others. Being idiots and assholes. Cool. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for listening. Are you? <laughs> Did you just stab? <laughs> right. Now that that's. No, I'm not really. But it looks like a dab. Oh no! Stay together and don't move. Thirteen. Protect the students. Ooh, what is that thing? Oh shit! Wait, is the training what started the? already? I thought we were ready. No, hey, no, no, Stay no. Back. Those lives that day, but when they appeared, we realized we were the ones in danger. Oh my god! Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god. This is it, and there's a load of them as well. So crazy villains are on the horizon. Um, it should be great to see how this is handled. Um, given that um, the person with the hands was also involved, uh, and they look to be like the main adversary. Because uh, we've got our villains anyways, but they seem to be like the big, big, big deal. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see how this pans out. But awesome episode of My Hero Academia. I felt there was a lot more to, you know, digest about this episode than there was last episode. I think last episode was majorly a cool down episode for the whole Bakugo Deku uh, situation that we had for the last, uh, for the episodes preceding it. But, um, yeah, I felt there was a lot more to consume in this episode. By no means, uh, like, was the last episode boring at all, but there was a lot more stuff that happened in this episode uh, for you to absorb and appreciate that I really, really enjoyed so much. Um, like I said, the villain uh, uh, bit at the end was really, really... Uh, it's going to lead into some exciting times. It was really surprising, but it was really, really exciting uh, as well, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how uh, that goes down, especially, um, I'm assuming, that kid... Um, with the white hair that disintegrated the uh, barrier to let the uh, to let the journalists in, I don't think he was like a journalist, uh, like related to a journalist at all. And is like, well, that's a bit rude. I'm gonna let these journalists in no matter what. Um, I wonder if if they had quirk on, or unless some uh, most of them are part of the twenty percent. But um, yeah, uh, I'm assuming that kid is involved with the whole, um, you know villain situation uh to trigger the alarms but yeah it's like i said it's going to be very very interesting to see what does happen um it was really really great to see a lot of focus uh on tenye in this episode especially with the fact that you know um he was ha having that conversation with yuraka and deku uh about his family uh, well his brother uh and how he didn't want that reputation to i guess deter from what it is now. Um, I thought that was a really, really pr uh, pleasant situation, like a, a nice little chat, and I like them to, uh, three as a trio for some reason. They really do, like, I don't know, click for some reason. Um, but no, it was really, really great to see, you know, that uh, deep conversation from uh, Tenye and how he 
uh, really admires his family. So I really, really loved it so much. Um, as well as the whole evacuation thing where everyone was just like crammed together. Uh, a nice l little bit of teamwork so Tenya can grab the attention of everyone. Um, and I thought that was really, really great. Uh, of course, he's now got a new nickname for what he appeared to be like. Uh, emergency exit sign, of course. Um, but it was really, really great to see him, you know, take that dominance. Well, that authority, should I say. And uh, calm the situation because, of course, he was the only one who knew about the. It was the fact that it was the journalists that uh, caught the attention, or it wasn't really. But he wasn't to know it was that you know weird kid um, who seems a bit dangerous. So uh, he just saw journalists, and you know, it's all ease of the situation. Um, but it is very, very concerning. Like if it is that kid. Uh, and, um, to see, it, well, we didn't see him, but to no acknowledge the fact that he, uh, disabled the disin uh, disintegration. <laughs> We're killing kids now for, uh, for some reason. No, uh, to disintegrate the barrier. Uh, it's very, very concerning because what else is he capable of? Who knows? Um, but yeah, it was great. Like I said, it was a great focus on Tenye uh, being appointed class rep when it was originally Izuku. Um, but I can understand why. Because Tenye has that confidence, he has that authority, and he's able to get the job done really, really efficiently. And uh, there's no stumble, whereas with Izuku, like, he is a bit nervous. And, you know, I think... With time, he'll be a bit more confident and all that, but uh, he, he is a bit nervous, especially when the spotlight is on him. Uh, we've seen that a couple of times, but even in this episode, he was a bit, you know, shaky. Whereas Tenye is like, okay, let's not dolly around. We're getting this shit done. So this is what I have to say. Um, he's able to, you know, really resonate with authority. And, I'm, and I and I think um, he's really, really confident as well. I mean, I think that was a nice little... Uh, uh, teased for things to come in the beginning when uh, the journalists were uh, harassing uh, the kids. Uh, Izuku was a bit, you know, starstruck, uh, whereas Tenye w gave a, 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 like an informal um, answer to the journalists. The journalists didn't look too, you know, please. they looked bored out of their wits, to be fair, almost as if they're getting off to... The pressure on the kids, isn't it? Um, no, but it was just really, really great stuff to see. And um, I just really, really loved Tenye's appointment as um, class rep. Like I said, I've done this before um, when I was in school. And I think I did pretty good, I think. But I was always confident in, all, uh, in you know, delivering what the hell was wrong and uh, improvements needed, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And... Um, to be, uh, to be fair, it's so funny, like, uh, I always wanted myself to be leader anyways, me and my best friend, um, in school, um, not to, to brag or whatever, but, like, we were, I guess, valued as the two smartest, I guess, in the class, we were always together, like, no matter, like, cause, uh, sometimes there was a split for each, uh, like, year, I'm going on a bit personal, no, but uh, I don't know. I, it, it's just great that we have class rep, and it's like, yeah, I was class rep. Uh, but there was a bit of a split, but we always stuck together. We are like brothers. We, we still are. But, um, you know, we would all, like, I guess we had this, like, kind of pact uh, that, you know, we could be uh, class rep one year, and then the other can be the, um, like, deputy, and we'd switch that around. So, um, yeah. But, um I digress. Yeah, it was just really, really uh, great to see um, Tenye appointed because, uh, like I said, he's got the confidence, he's got the uh, command, he's he's able to um, direct objectives with confidence, whereas Izuku could uh, could struggle a bit. I mean, you even saw the de uh, I guess the deputy was a bit. I'm sure she was the same person who uh, called it like it was in terms of how Tenye was the MVP of the whole um, 
um, it, uh, like that test thing that we had a couple of episodes back. So yeah, I'm sure she was the same person who uh, who did that. So uh, yeah, but it was really really great. Like I said, uh, to see Tenye take uh, take a bit of a spotlight in this episode uh, because there was a lot of focus on him, and that's really really great stuff to see. Uh, like I really love his character, and to see a bit of development for him, like uh, to to see you know his um, his um, family ties explored and him getting this opportunity to be class rep uh it was really really a nice um sight to see uh all might as well who is feeling a bit more sluggish since he gave one fall to izuku uh, which is a which you can kind of understand you're giving a bit or you like you're it's like cutting away a part of yourself and you, you give it to someone you're not going to be uh it's not going to be exactly the same unless it can just regenerate but uh, no, it doesn't seem to be uh, the case, but you can you can see, uh, like, you can understand the writers doing that, I guess you could say, um, about how they uh, are limiting a bit of All Might's um, power because he gave it away. Um, so, yeah, um, it was just really, really, gr it's really concerning, though, for All Might uh, and his power. Especially when we've got now villains coming up, it's it's really concerning about the time. Yeah, I think he said something along the lines of his time is reduced as well, like uh, the uh, amount of time he can be All Might. So that is not good, especially when we've got you know several hectic villains on the horizon. So woo, um, but. It's really, really, I don't know, it's been really, really concerning uh, recently with All Might. Um, so, I'm not, I'm, I don't know, it's, it's just not looking too rosy for him at the minute, but um, I'm hoping, you know, all these concerns can be washed away, especially with the villains coming up. Uh, I, uh, cause, uh, considering we had that cryptic message, which was a, a really, really um, worrying signal. Um... But also, like I said, that, um, you know, his time has been reduced. Like I said, unless he get, it distributes one for all to different others, um, like Quirkless as well, then I don't think this is going to be a bit of an issue. But he's always been limited, and that's always been a worrying issue in, in this show. So, yeah. Um, but it was great to see him in a bit of the action as well, whilst we're focusing on UA. Uh, the rest of the world doesn't slumber, uh, as we saw with the... Would you say villain of the week or something like that? Uh, with that pink guy who held that family hostage, um, but it was nice to see old favourites return, like uh, Mount Lady as well. So, really, really great stuff to see. Um, there was something else I was also wanting to get across. Um, oh yeah, the banter on the bus as they were heading to the USJ. Um, that was really, really great as well, especially Sue like. Um, trolling katsuki um but it but it's just a really really like it, it all goes back to it does all uh go back to uh izuku when he was in school like uh when he was the one not favored and now how the tables have turned like katsuki is being ragged on by everyone because of his aggressive personality saying that he will never be a hero so i love how the tables have definitely turned um on katsuki but it was just really, really great to see, um, you know, everyone, you know, partnering up with Izuku. Like, like this is this is this is it. This is the t this is the turning of the tables. Uh, whereas Izuku was disrespected by everyone in his class, now he's getting the respect of everyone, especially um, since uh, they live on a basic lie, I guess. Well, Tenye does. Um, he still believes because he um Izuka was about to say um well the thing is i didn't really know uh have a a deep um like my thought about this test didn't go that deep like he thought there was something more of course um he's got to spill the beans but like i said that uh he's gotten the respect like his um power which had a bit of a tease like oh it looks like a bit like All Might, and um, but like this is what I'm getting at. The uh, the people in his class are respecting him. They they are giving him that respect that Izuku never had, and it's really really nice to see. And now Katsuki is getting his. Like he's he's getting people saying, 
Well, he's a bit aggressive, so, uh, yeah, but I don't know. It's just nice to see Sid just trolling and saying, see? Case in point. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really fantastic episode, and I can't wait to see what goes down against the villains, because, oh boy, there's a lot of them, and it's not looking good. And these kids aren't ready. Like, um, I, I don't know if, um, if, like, Deku could use one for all effectively. Like, I don't, we don't even know how strong these villains are, to be fair. Uh, I mean, you've got um, villains, uh, like you see on the streets, that might not have much focus. But these people that come out of this portal could be a colossal deal that not even one for all could could handle. Who knows? Um, I'm, I'm sure it will, but um, we'll just have to see what goes down. And I, I don't think, uh, you know, it's wise for Deku to risk his life against, you know, several villains anyway, so... Uh, we'll see what goes down, because I'm really, really excited to see, uh, you know, a bit of the action from the villains. We got a tease from them in the last episode, and now they're here, so uh, it's going to be very, very exciting to see what they can do. But until then, I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!